Welcome to Extend Office Channel. This video presents six different methods to efficiently remove blank rows and batches. There are two scenarios for deleting blank rows. One is to delete rows where all cells are empty, and the other is to delete rows that contain blank cells. Here I introduce the methods for solving these two scenarios. Remove blank rows. Method 1. Add a helper column. In the most right of the data set, add the helper column. Then use formula in the first cell, D2, of the column. A2 to C2 is the range that you want to count the number of non-blank cells. Press Enter key to get the first count. Drag the autofill handle down to count non-blank cells in each row. Click at any cell of the helper column, go to Data tab and select Filter. Then click at the Filter arrow, and only check 0 in the expanded menu, and click OK. Select the blank rows, then right-click to choose Delete Row from the Context menu. Select Filter in the Sort and Filter group to clear the applied filter. If you do not need the helper column anymore, remove it after filtering. Now the blank rows are removed. Remove blank rows. Method 2. By Ku Tools for Excel. For a quick and effortless way to accurately eliminate blank rows from your selection, the best solution is to utilize the Delete Blank Rows feature of KuTools for Excel. Select the range that you want to remove blank rows from. Click KuTools tab and click Delete Delete Blank Rows. If you do not have KuTools for Excel, you should install it firstly. You can see, it supports to delete blank rows from selection, active sheet, selected sheets in the whole workbook. Here I take the selection as example. In the popping dialog, there are two options, choose one you need and click OK. Here I select Delete Blank Rows in the Range option. A dialog pops for telling you the number of deleted blank rows, click OK. The blank rows in the selection are removed. Remove Blank Rows Method 3. Manually Click at the row number to select the blank row. If there are multiple blank rows, hold Ctrl key to select the row number one by one. Right-click to choose Delete from the context menu. The selected blank rows are removed. Remove blank rows. Method 4. With VBA. Press Alt and F11 keys to enable the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Click Insert, Module. Then copy and paste one of the codes to the new module. For getting the VBA code, go to click the hyperlink in the description. Click Run button or press F5 key to run the code. Now all blank rows in the active sheet are removed. Close the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Remove rows containing blank cells. Method 1. By Go to Special. Select the range you want to delete empty rows from. Under Home tab, select Find and Select and click Go to Special. In the Go to Special dialog, select Blanks option and click OK. Now all empty cells in the selected range have been selected. Right click at any selected cell and select Delete from the context menu. In the Delete dialog, choose Entire Row option and click OK. Now, all rows contain at least one blank cell are removed. Remove rows containing blank cells. Method 2. By filter feature. When you want to remove rows based on a key column, Excel's filter feature can be a helpful tool. Select the dataset. Click Data tab and go to Select Filter. Click the filter arrow of the key column you want to remove rows based on. In this example, ID column is the key column. Click the filter arrow and check blanks option only from the expanded menu and click OK. 
Select the remaining rows. Then right click to choose Delete Row in the context menu. Select Filter in the Sort and Filter group to clear the applied filter. Now the rows contain blank cell and the key column are removed. 